I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> we're here at Toronto Motorsport Park with Savage Geese from Savage Geese. We are driving the regular 2019 Miata, the GT, and we are driving the 2016 Cup car. Jacob and I have never been in a race car before. I've always wanted to be in a race car. You know what you're doing, so you're gonna help us out today. I'm gonna try. You're gonna do really well. I think you're gonna do really well because you've been in about six <laughs> billion cars now. Okay, let's start with just the MX-5. Okay. Savage Geese is also doing an MX-5 Cup Car video on his channel, so subscribe to that now and also watch that right now. Oh, I braked way too late and I missed the apex of that turn. That extra red line really helps. I don't know how it is in the 18, but I feel like I get a lot more out of it. Mark told me to hit the brakes enough that that starts your turn, and I think that's actually helping. All right, I gotta let off there, because that's scary. Heel toe downshift. Come on, let's get a good lap time. Please, please get a good lap time. 132, that's amazing. Probably shouldn't have looked, but that's three seconds better than I did in practice. Don't go all the way to the cones on this part. Yes, that braking enough just to rotate you around, it feels like it's helping. Yes, oh my God. You know, I keep telling people, buy a Miata, buy a Miata. I don't even know why I keep shifting to third. So I shaved off four seconds by doing more laps and getting some advice by people who know what they're doing. I think the best advice was the hitting the brakes. Oh, I just used my signal. Wow, I'm so new to track stuff. I think the best advice was hitting the brakes to initiate the turn. Once you start feeling it turning for you, then get on after it or something like that. But having the brakes start the turn, it makes perfect sense because you're not wasting energy turning and braking. You combine it. Woo! Man, I love the Miata. Very excited for the cup car. It's probably way more hardcore and way grippier with those tires. I can't imagine the cup car being worth trailering it to have it but maybe as an entry into real racing, if that's what you want to do, it's probably awesome. I think Jake was gonna be more excited with that. All right, it's finally my turn to go out in the Miata. I did have some uh, warm up laps before. I did have a couple spin outs, only one or two, but I'm gonna dial it back just a little, have a little bit more fun, feel the car out, and then eventually go for an actual hot lap. This is the first time for me driving the actual 2019 Miata on the track. We've driven it many different times on the road, so let's see how it actually handles on a race course. We do have traction control off because we don't want the brakes to overheat. So Yuri and Savage Geese have already gone. Car's a little hot. That's my first excuse for not putting down a good lap time. And here we go. I love the improved red line. It makes the car feel so much faster in a straight line. Hard on the brakes, heel toe, third, downshift, go. In and wide. Look where you want to go. Use as much track as possible. Stay nice and tight here. Hit the curb a little bit. Just kiss it. Flat out with third. No wasting time on a shift. Let's see. No, I have to go down a second here. There's not enough torque in this car in third gear. Nice and tight. Use all the track. Flat right now. Squeeze on the power. Go straight through the chicane. Don't go on the right side because if you drop a wheel there, you will bend it. This car handles so well. It is very playful. The body roll is something that you have to get accustomed to and use to your advantage. It's interesting to really feel that out because there's so much body roll that you use it to your advantage, you kind of stay a little bit later on the brakes and use it to turn in. So I'm trying to adjust things as I go and feel how the car turns, feel what the car likes, how much body roll it has, and use all of the car to my advantage because this car is very skittish. What happens is if you upset it with a downshift at a time that you shouldn't downshift, the whole car will just unbalance, unsettle, and then you're gonna be off in the grass, which I have done, like I said, once or twice here. Miatas are such a good starter car for this type of track. This, this track rewards low horsepower, playful cars because it has so many tight little corners, not that many straights. So a car like this would actually probably be similar 
to a higher horsepower car that can't take turns in this tight section. Look where you wanna go. I wanna go fast. I just wanna go fast. Come on, baby. I just wanna go fast. Oh, 129.2. All right, cool down lap. I am so happy with that. All right, awesome. Now I'm definitely ready for the cup car. Whew. That is so much fun. We just got out of the MX-5 2019. Here are our lap times. Obviously, Savage Geese was the fastest. Jacob was very close. And Yuri, for my first time on a track alone, did all right. You did amazing. Yeah. You progressed, it was perfect. Where you started to where you finished, it's a huge improvement. Yeah. But to be fair, I finished even after this footage that wasn't on camera. True. <laughs> you probably would have been a little bit faster. Yeah. How did, why, why was it such a big change from the start to where you finished? Uh, I guess just getting overwhelmed by everything in general. Like, I wasn't used to driving alone. I don't know what the cones mean. I don't know if the cones are rules or just guidelines. And then getting in the car with you guys later and seeing what you do and putting that into my practice helped a lot too. Okay. There's a lot going on in the track. Day. So now let's get into how the cup car works, how to get in it, how to get out if there's a fire, and drive it around and see what the craziness of a cup car is to a regular Miata. Fire test. <laughs> Yo, have you been on the Nurburgring before? I have, but now I'm on the Cayuga ring. <laughs> Yo, Jacob, is this what a Miata is supposed to sound like? Yes, yeah, sound, look, feel, everything. It's got a spark plug. Is this plug. a motorcycle helmet? Yep. Where's your Nomax suit? I don't have one. I got race shoes though. All right, <laughs> listen to me. When you go out there, I want you to look good doing okay. it. What's your advice for looking good? Uh, don't crash. Okay, <laughs> that's really good advice. Are we doing it right? What do you think? That looks about right. You're getting in, right? Oh, I'm stuck. You look okay. Huge in that car. Okay. So, how do you put the wheel on? I legitimately, Oh my God. Okay, I have to, I am in between the roll bar and I can't move my head. It's like you've never been in a race car before. Okay. I haven't. Oh, this is, this is gonna be tight. Oh, there you go. yo, I don't want to brag, but like, <laughs> I need a little bit more room here. <laughs> this is so tight. Yeah, it's gonna be uncomfortable. That's the whole point. I love race cars. Yo, Jacob, you know what I'm really having fun with? No. How serious Savage Geese gets yeah, when yeah. it's race cars. No, I mean, it's, you know. This isn't a joke. Yeah, I mean. You see this? Look at this. Fire. This touch, isn't a joke. Touch it, bro. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not. On the count of three, fire drill. One, two, three, get out. <sighs> no, no, you're not helping him. Yeah, you have to. You but have he, the crew get him out. He, no, he's on his own. Oh, he's okay, on the track on fire. Oh, God. Oh, that's uh, cheating. Uh, I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, but you got help. Now I got to try. How does that feel, it, Yuri? It doesn't feel as claustrophobic as Jacob made it sound, but maybe I'm just like... Well, but you can move your head! Oh you, yeah. You notice how you moved your head and talked to the camera? I couldn't do that. Oh, maybe. Okay. I think I'll be fine. Alright, Yuri. It's time for you to get out. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Fire! You're on fire. Your legs are burning. So Goose is gonna start it off because he actually has experience with this kind of stuff where we do not. I, even though I've never been at this track or in the cup car before, so. <laughs> All right, so what you need to know is these race tires take probably about six, seven laps to get heated up and it feels like once you get more heat in it when you start braking. The other thing is unlike street tires where you can kind of just slide around, as soon as you start to feel the rear end go, it snaps and you have to stay ahead of it and you can't be herky-jerky on the steering wheel. If you're way too fast on it, it upsets the car too much. But really, it's it's so much more planted than the regular Miata, obviously, because the suspension and tires, that's that's the main thing. But it feels slower, really, the engine performance uh, it feels slower than the 2019. All right, so I got Savage Geese here, so I'm just going to let him do this. we got a stock engine, correct? Yes. What is modified in the ECU? It is a standalone ECU, which is usual for racing because they can make their own tuning. Separate wiring harness to get rid of all the extra electronics and all that. Is it the same horsepower as a regular Miata 2016? Yes and no. The, the power curve is different. I haven't seen a dyno personally, but the, the, pow the tuning is different, yeah. I feel like it would be slightly different just because this has headers and a full exhaust, right? Yeah, and they've had to make some changes for that. Okay, uh, transmission. Is that transmission any different? Transmission is modified. Uh, third and fourth gear have been changed, and they do do TSBs. 
uh, the manufacturer does TSBs to kind of correct stuff or change stuff as Mazda releases new parts. Tell me about those wheels and tires. Ray's engineering spec wheels and spec tires with BFG G4 slicks. And this is a spec wheel and tire. You can't change it, you can't modify anything. Spec brakes, Brembo's, Brembo discs, which are really affordable too. Are those Brembo's the exact same ones that you get on a regular Miata? They are not. Really? They are not. Interesting. Now this is a global MX-5 car. There's also a spec series. Can you tell me the difference about that? In short, the Cup series is no modifications. You get it from the factory. If you break an engine or transmission, you have to order it through Mazda Motorsports and it has to come sealed. And that seal on there, if it's broken, you're disqualified. In a spec series, it's just like a, like a time uh, uh, or a time attack. There's a whole bunch of different rules, gray areas. You have a bunch of cheater stuff. So if you have more money, you win that series. Correct. This gotcha. is a driver series. Driver skill dominates. That's cool. Can you tell me about those switches right there? <laughs> yeah, one is a kill switch for the battery. And what's the other one? Is the that E. That's fire. For, that's for eject. Oh. Yeah, that's that's, it's an ejector seat. Well, hopefully we don't need to use that today. No, not yet. All right. What do we have inside here? We got a racing seat. Yes. We so got a this roll is cage. The real roll cage. This is also made in the factory. This is not coming. So this does not come from the factory. They don't give you a race seat. So you have to get your own fitted and all the rails. But you typically want a halo. This is a halo style. So you get a Hans. So it supports your neck and all the, the safety stuff. And then we got this net right over here. So this clips in here. And you what? You can't fall out? Is that what it's for? Yeah. So if you roll over, just in case. You know, your head hits the net, your body hits the net. And we have a full side door because this is for door-to-door -door racing. Full yeah. side cage. Yeah, right, door-to-door. -door. Oh, that's a good time to talk about weight. Yeah. It ships from the factory 2,100 pounds, okay? But you can't drive it at 2,100 pounds. Yeah, so if you are if you don't meet the minimum weight, there's a box on the passenger side, Yuri. Take a look at that black box over there. So if you eat too many cheeseburgers, what happens? Can, do you, you make get this weight? you have to make weight. So the car has to be a minimum weight. I believe it's like 2,450 pounds. Yep. So if it ships at 2,100 pounds and you're not, you don't weigh enough, you put homologated weights and they have to be approved weights to put it in that box. Otherwise you'll get a, a penalty or disqualified. But if I were to eat enough cheeseburgers to balance out the weight, would I still need that ballast? You would have to eat a lot of cheeseburgers. Oh, and you can't be over 6'4 to fit in this. Are you over 6'4? I'm six foot one and a half. Really? Yeah. Holy crap, and you barely fit in here. Yeah. So it's something to note. So there's probably some cooling differences because this is a race car. Yeah, there are significant. And there's a lot more technical details too. Like super technical. Yeah, probably that you would put you to sleep, really. Yeah, so if you want to be put to sleep, watch his video, super technical. Yeah, just turn this one off and yeah, just do have it. a nap and watch mine. Yeah, and now I'm going to go drive this. This is going to hurt my head so much. I am hitting my head off of the roll bar. Holy crap, I'm going to get a headache. Okay, first time in a race car. This is something else. Oh my God. Okay, so the tires need to get heat in them because these are slicks, but this does feel already so planted. It sounds so race car. I am so goddamn happy right now. Holy, okay. I gotta dial it back, take it easy, get some heat into the tires. Oh, the sound of this thing. I love loud cars. Even though it's just a Miata. Oh, I love blipping this. I can hear everything. It's a little hard to see with the net and stuff. But, oh my goodness, I love this. Oh, I love race cars. <laughs> this is the 2016 MX-5 Global Cup car. This is a professional race car. And this is the easiest way to get into racing. Got about a 6200 RPM red line. I got shift lights. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, down shoot, race car. Oh, that grip. My God, this does not feel like the road car whatsoever. Like nothing like the road car. There's no more body roll. All of that roll is gone. You really find the limit of this. I haven't found it yet, but I'm sure I'm not that far off. This has so much grip. There's just no body roll compared to the other one. Oh man, I want one of these so badly. This is such a good car to learn how to drive quickly on. Oh yeah, a little bit of oversteer, just a bit. Got to correct quickly because this car will get ahead of you. My God, does this sound like a 
race car and it feels like a race car. Uh, it's not very fast, which is really, really good. And honestly, right now, I appreciate how not fast it is. Oh, you can brake so much later. And I'm probably going to stop talking because I need to focus. Compared to the 2019 Miata, the shift points are so different. I love having that higher red line on the 2019. Man, race car drivers get my ultimate respect. I got this. I'm going to run a 124 or lower in this. Come on, baby. This is it. This is it. This is it. You got this. You got this, Jacob. You got this. You got this. Come on. 122. No, 124. Yes. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. Woo. Yes, I did a 124. Ah. Or maybe I did a 122. I'm honestly not sure, but I think I did a 124. I'm so happy with this. I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. I'm sorry, Yuri. I'm probably taking up a little bit more of your time, but I don't want to stop. I'm so sorry, man. They told me a lot of instructions. Let's see if I can figure it out. Ride the brakes a lot, they said, in the first couple laps. Get heat in the tires. Oh, this thing hooks. I love shifting on that first shift light flash. Ah, shifted. Oh, fifth. I missed all my shifts. Alright, let's feel these tires up. That lap is wasted already. Woo! I love this. This isn't too much more intimidating than a normal car, but it feels way more badass. That was intense. That feels way more badass than regular cars. But it's just like a lot going on. I feel like I was way off my racing line, but also just like more in it. I, I don't even know. That was cool though. We just got out of the MX-5 Global Cup car. Here are our lap times. Oh, those look nice. Yeah, same thing again. Yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's obvious that there's a consistent step and skill level, right? I mean, you guys were both really consistent in your lap times t towards the end, and so was I, so that's good. Everyone progressed, it was and, amazing. And I think it's awesome that there's an obvious difference to go faster in the cup car than the regular Miata. Yeah, so the biggest thing that I noticed about driving it is the grip levels and the sound. Like, my God, that was the best. Okay, but I spun out the cup car while doing my fast laps, you only spun out the MX-5 while doing your fast laps. I also spun out that one, which no one saw. <laughs> yeah, that was just for fun. Yeah, okay. Why didn't you car. spin out? I didn't spin out. I... He's better than that. No, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm not driving hard enough, right? I was going 12 tenths. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were having fun, obviously. Yeah, the most fun. Yeah. Okay, but you felt cars. claustrophobic in the cup car. I did. I got over that very quickly as soon as I started it up and got out on the track. My head was rattling and I think that kind of changed my perspective on it. Yeah. I couldn't think anymore. For me, it felt like there was a lot going on and I was, I was very overwhelmed. For this being my first day on the track alone, trying to be fast and compete with other guys who were faster than me and then trying to understand what's going on in a cup car. But the RPM on the 2019, how much better is that than the 2016 and Taking. Yeah, so that was the biggest thing that we noticed, both, all of us probably, yeah. is the shift points. We drove the 19 regular Miata first on the track and tried to base our shift points off of that with the higher red line, where the global cup car does not have the higher red line. So all of our shift points were completely off. The other thing is you have to shift a lot shift a lot more in the cup car yes. because the gearing is just, you know, you don't have the revs, so you're constantly third to second to third on some of the tight corners. It's more involving, but it, it also upsets the car more to be constantly downshifting. From being a beginner today, I also noticed that driving with you, you are way better at heel toe shifting when you're going really fast and there's a lot on your mind, which I wasn't. If I had more seat time, I feel like I could be better, but man, like you're just, no matter what, perfect rev match all the time yeah it's easy for me but i've been doing it for a long time you gotta you gotta factor that in don't yeah. feel bad about no, no, it he I mean, did that's, amazing for that's what the, you that's the differences yeah and that's cool but that's just, why our lab times are different yeah, too it's exactly. just it matches up with our experience level that's yep. all it is and i just want to give a shout out to our film crew oh yeah good job guys yeah. Oh, yeah. this is this, this is, is a great job great wait you gotta pat yeah. yourself on yeah, the yeah, back yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> would you guys rather be driving the 2019 mx5 or the 2016 cup car on track should i answer first yeah yeah go cup car like why? cup car, why? 100%. Just because it's more race car and it louder? It feels like a race car. It's so loud. 
it there's so much grip. But isn't I just it, love the feeling isn't of it. Isn't it like so much more effort to yes. like drive it? Yes. I like to progress and I like the effort that I have to put no, in. No, but I mean even to like get in and like yeah. get out and start it and bring it somewhere. Maximum effort. Like maximum but i love it i had way more fun in the 2019 because it was just like easy go like when we were taking laps at the yeah. end we were switching spots like like that and like it didn't fade really yeah. like everything kept going it was so much easier and you could use it on the roads which one would you take home um, on the track <laughs> and then home i'll be real about it i think the cup car is amazing but if you don't have race car mindset or budget, yeah. like all the things that go along with it, it's so much easier just to get in the, the regular MX-5. This doesn't even have the upgraded suspension and brakes or the Recaros, and it's still amazing. You could get done out there and just drive right home. And there's so that's just so awesome. This is like a, a total ordeal. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a hassle. Had, Mazda Canada had to have a guy bring it to us. <laughs> yep. By the way, this is from Mazda Canada's fleet with their old vintage cars. So thank you, Mazda Canada. Yeah, thanks. Pick up Mazda Canada, or as he would say, Mazda Canada. Mazda Canada. Yep. And US is kind of involved too, and a little bit in it, at least in my part of it. At 58 grand out the door. Canadian or US? Uh, United, US, US. dollars. <laughs> $58,000 US, because it's made in the US. You get a lot, a lot of car, but you have to get your own seat. You have to get a trailer. You can't street register it. So there's a lot of costs that are kind of buried into it. And the truth is to run a whole season, it's about 150,000, assuming you don't crash. So that's a lot of buy-in to take this racing. But to start racing that or like a micro cup, that's probably a lot more fun. I haven't driven the micro cup car. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nissan. But you got to remember too, it's when you get a car like this, you want the competition. Yes. And there's not gonna to be too many race series that you can go out on grid and have like 50 cars on the grid. Or, you know, there's a high yeah. level of competition all throughout the world with this car, and that's why you would do it. And it's very approachable though. When you guys got out of the regular MX-5, you pretty much felt yeah, right yeah, at home yeah, with yeah, it, yeah. right? It was just the tires. That's the biggest thing that you had to adjust to is yeah. warming them up and getting used to what they're gonna do because they have just so much grip. And, right, and yeah. the seat adjustment. There was no seat adjustment, so it was perfect for Jacob. Yeah, for once. A little far for me, yeah, which made me. heel toe a lot easier. Savage That's geese. Savage geese. That's okay, we need those sounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you guys both recommend buying both for both people who need both? Sure, why not? I mean, if you already have MX or Cup car money, you buy a regular one. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, Just buy every Mazda, yeah. okay? Every Mazda. Miata. Buy a Cup car. Like, if you can get one and you want to go racing and you have money for racing, just get it. And don't car. forget, Savage Geese also has a video on his channel at the same time or maybe a different date, so check his channel out too. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. Notification bell. Our subscribe channel. to them. Both Patreons. Yeah, everybody's Patreon. But only yeah. our YouTube membership because you don't have that yet. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Hit the notification bell. And there you go. Done.